Welcome to today's art lesson. Remember the rules. The rules are, you've got to respect yourself, you've got to respect others, and you've got to respect the environment. And the main way that those rules are going to work in the art room is that you're going to listen to others when they're speaking, keep the noise down so people can do their art, and don't waste your materials. Respect the paper and the implements that you're using to work with your pencils and brushes. If you can do that, everyone's going to be happy in the art room today. Alright, in this lesson we're going to look at lines. Lines can have both length and direction. Another thing to think about lines is lines can have lots of different appearances. They can be wavy and smooth, they can be jagged, scratchy, they can have all different sorts of lines. Lines can show the edges of shapes, they can show spaces. So if we look at this picture, we can see lines here showing the edges of shapes, and we can see lines here showing the edge of a space. Here is where a line is being used, or lines being used to show volume. So it's making it seem like it's 3D, those lines going around. Here we've got lines suggesting movement. Okay, so with the rocket, you can see these straight lines are showing how it shoots up. And with the ball on the other side, the bouncy lines are showing how it's bouncing. Okay, the next thing you want to think about is lines can point to things that are important. So you can see here that the artist has used some really dark lines to point to what's important in these drawings, and that's the girl's faces. Here's some lines creating texture. Here there's different types of lines creating the texture for the bark and the texture for the bird's feathers. Here's lines creating patterns. Let's have a look at a couple of these patterns so you can see how the artist has used lines to make these patterns. Here's some perspective made out of lines. So even though this image is flat, it's two dimensional, the artist has used lines cleverly to make the road appear like it's going off into the distance and to give this picture the illusion of three dimensions. And here's some shadows. So you can see that the artist has used lines to create shadows on our very friendly looking dog here. And finally, going to have some lines suggesting emotion. Okay, lads not looking too happy there, all right? Last thing that I want to talk about with lines is that lines can be actual, here's an actual line, or lines can be implied. What that means is that if I show two shapes here, this one and this one, the space between them is making a line. There isn't actually a line there, but the space is implying a line. And now, let's go and have a look at some examples of artwork using lines. Cave paintings in France, 17,300 years old. The artist has used lines to create these shapes of animals. Leonardo da Vinci, around 1490, drawn with ink, so no rubbing out for Leonardo. Albrecht Dürer, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, this is a woodcut, so he's actually cut these lines into a block of wood and then used that to print onto paper. Osamu Tezuka, the creative Astro Boy, great use of line to show movement here. And Kim Jong-gi, contemporary Korean artist, and you can look this guy up on YouTube, he's got some pretty amazing art that he's doing here using lines. Okay, team, this is the art journal that we're using. These are the notes that I'd like you to put in your art journal for this lesson. Pause the video here so that you can copy these notes down. Okay, here's our artist model that we're going to use for our art exercise. So I'm going to go on now to show you which part of the model to look at and what kind of art exercise we're going to do for this lesson. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is look at our model and I want you to draw around the outside of the model 
without taking your pencil off the paper. So as you watch me here, I'm drawing around. I'm not going to take my pencil off the paper. And you've got to make sure that you're spending at least as much time looking at the model as you are looking at your drawing. And actually, you should be spending more time looking at what you're drawing than your drawing. So you can see I'm going around, I'm looking at the model, and I'm trying to draw what's there, not what I think is there. And you'll also notice that I'm not taking my pencil off the paper at all. I'm not using the rubber, so anytime I make a mistake, I'm just going to keep on going. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to draw over it. And then I'm going to come through and start putting some contour lines on my drawing to show the form, to show which way the surfaces are actually going. So once you've finished watching me draw this drawing, I'd like you to do the same. I'd like you to draw the model in your sketchbook. And then after you've done this exercise, you can draw anything else that you want in your sketchbook in the line section that we're working on, as long as it's made out of lines. And that's the end of the lesson.